From the golden glow of a goldfish to the playful charm of a clownfish, these aren't your ordinary swimmers. They're the most dazzling orange stars of the aquarium hobby. A misconception is that freshwater fish species are just dull in color. But we took a journey all over the globe and we gathered nine orange freshwater fish that will absolutely add life to your home aquarium. And on the top of our list is the Sunset Thick-Lipped Gorami. If you're looking for a fish species with a very peaceful nature, then Sunset Thick-Lipped Gorami should be your top priority. These species are originally from Myanmar and are not the most common gourami in the hobby, but they are one of the best. They may be shot, but they will be the happiest in an aquarium where there are plenty of hiding spaces, low water flow, and aquatic plants. They are carnivorous, but they thrive on a diet of regular dried flake food supplemented with live and frozen food like brine shrimp. Taking care of them? Not that difficult. They grow to only 4 inches and they thrive in tropical waters. Number two on the list is another kind of gourami. It's a smaller, chunkier version of the previous species. Yes, I am talking about the honey gourami. An excellent beginner fish that helps to be one of the most peaceful gouramis in the hobby. Just like the previous one, they are awesome centerpiece fish for nano aquariums down to about 15 gallons. They originated from India, Bangladesh, and Nepal, and they come in many color variations, including gold and orange. And contrary to common knowledge, males of this kind are the most colorful, and they develop intense colors around the breeding season. Further, adult size goes on for about 2 inches. Am I convincing you that Goramis are cool? Want to see more of them? Check out the card above for the most popular Gorami breeds in the hobby. Another orange fish on the list is the cute Variatus platy. If you're just starting an aquarium hobby, this type of fish could be the best for you. They are easy to take care of and they can grow up to 2.8 inches long. These live bearers have golden bodies with a darker back half. They come in many different colors just like any other fish, but if you want even more bold colors, go for the marigold and sunset varieties. The area around their tail really radiates a shining orange color. Wait, want to know something awesome about platy fish? They are live bearers. It means they give birth to live swimming fish instead of laying eggs. If you take good care of them, expect lots of babies. The list goes on and we are now in the fourth spot. What we have here is the clown loach. They may be called clowns, but these fish grow very large. We're talking about 150 gallons and up for a school. Probably one of the most colorful loach breeds in the aquarium hobby. They come from Borneo and Sumatra and are omnivorous in nature. They've got a unique appearance as they feature shark-like fins, a majestic forked tail, and an exotic orange body adorned with bold black stripes. It's like Mother Nature decided to create the perfect aquatic showpiece. Seeing how we're talking about orange, how could we not include the most popular of them all, the goldfish? Unlike your usual go-to for a bustling tank, goldfish aren't always the first pick. These dazzling aquatic companions have some unique needs, demanding a cool water environment and heavy filtration to give them a thriving environment. Picture this, a spectrum of colors, each goldfish a living canvas of aquatic artistry. While you may encounter various hues in the goldfish palette, the classic orange variety steals the spotlight as the brightest of them all. But that's not where the fun ends, oh no! The goldfish kingdom boasts an array of breeds, each flaunting distinct color shades, tail designs, and fin shapes. They are large and in charge, with many breeds growing to over 8 inches in length. There are so many goldfish breeds, we even made a video about all of them, over 35 in total. Want to check it out? Take a look at the card on top. I know you want to! Next, we have the Red Zebra Mbuna. You might think it's still a goldfish, but no. These types are more aggressive compared to the peaceful goldfish we talked about before. Hence, never ever put this in a community tank. But still, you can flock the same kind together. A spectrum of deep orange bodies that both males and females proudly display, creating a vibrant underwater symphony of colors is the goal. It's a visual feast that is bound to steal the spotlight in any aquarium setup. The intense beauty and attention-grabbing shades of the Red Zebra and Buna make them an irresistible addition to your aquatic masterpiece. We also have the Lemon Cichlid, which is one of the smaller African cichlids, and also one of the most colorful. Their color ranges from golden yellow to deep orange, and they have a large blue or black mouth. Imagine the wonder it's going to bring to your fish tank. While lemon cichlids aren't notorious for meanness, things can get a bit feisty during breeding season. To maintain harmony, consider housing them with other species from their native habitat. Just remember, moderation is key. Keep the lemon cichlid party in check by limiting to a pair unless you've got a spacious aquarium that rivals the size of their aquatic ambitions. And eighth on the list of freshwater orange fish is the blood parrot. This Central American marvel is no ordinary fish. 
It's a hybrid, a captivating mix of various cichlid species that you won't stumble upon in the wild. Their mouth resembles a parrot's bill, adorned with a striking orange hue and those big curious eyes stealing the show. Truly, it's a standout in the aquarium world, defying conventional fish aesthetics with its beautiful appearance. And last on the list of freshwater fish are the red devils. Yeah, you heard that right. The name really suggests that it's a monster, as they are aggressive and can grow up to 12 inches in size. This is another cichlid type from Central America that are notorious for having a habitat of turning its tank upside down. So, to the monster keepers, this is a great pick for you. Just remember, live plants or fancy aquascapes don't really matter if you have this beast in it. While some experts successfully house red devils with other species, the general rule of thumb is to embrace the solo journey. One red devil, one tank. A strategy that allows you to bask in the unfiltered charisma and wild personality that they bring to the underwater aquascape. That is a scintillating list we got there, but wait, we're not done yet. For our next category, we will delve into the depths of the sea and carry these fish to the comforts of our own homes. Here's the list of seven saltwater orange fish you can own. On the top of our list is a famous species of fish known for its spot in the movie Finding Nemo, the clownfish, amphibrian species. They are an obvious choice for saltwater fish keepers looking for a splash of orange in their reef tank as they're easy to take care of but can be territorial. They're perfect for tanks as small as 20 gallons, and they don't require anemones for happiness and health. In fact, there are many designer breeds available. Want to see some of them? Check out the card above for a video all about them. Oh, we gotta have the flame angel fish on our list. It's one of my personal favorites. Dressed in the brightest orange hue, adorned with striking vertical black bars and electrifying blue accents on their fins, these fish redefine elegance, not to mention their transparent tail fin adds an ethereal touch to their allure. But this selection is not for beginners, as they come with a high price and are territorial too. However, for saltwater fish keepers, this should be on your bucket list. Third, we have the Carpenter's Flash Arras. Are you so done with territorial fish? Then here's a breath of fresh air. Carpenter Flash Arrasses are a type of saltwater fish that is a perfect addition to your reef aquarium. But I gotta give you a spoiler alert, these fish change colors as they mature. From intense orange, they'll become more yellow when they reach adulthood. The list goes on, and we're now down to the fourth reef fish, the female Liretail Antheus. A wonderful name with a wonderful feature. Liretail Antheus, otherwise known as Sea Goldie, is a great choice to put inside your saltwater aquarium to make the surroundings lively. They swim actively and need a large space relative to their body size. Males flaunt a vibrant red, while females stun in a shocking orange that steals the spotlight. Want to know a crazy animal fact? Females can transform into males. The most dominant female will eventually become a male. That's the ocean world for you. It's time for number five, and I got a killer looking fish for you a uniquely colored saltwater fish with visible teeth. Yeah, we have the Harlequin Tusk. The bold orange stripes of this type dance alongside pearl white and neon blue, creating an aquatic masterpiece. But the real showstopper, their teeth. Vibrant, electric blue, dagger-like fangs that earn them their striking name. In the saltwater realm, Harlequin Tusks play well with corals and semi-aggressive companions. But caution is advised. They may snack on inverts and assert their dominance over smaller, peaceful fish. Diving further, found in the Pacific and Indian Ocean, we bring to you the Copper Band Butterfly. The Copper Banded Butterfly Fish is one of the most beautiful and distinctive saltwater species in the world. This flattened fish has a small head with a strange shape. Their long snout and tiny mouth make feeding a delicate dance. The reason why this type requires seasoned aquarists only. The hobby is developing every day. And there's been breakthroughs for captive breeding on this fish. Soon, we'll have tank bred varieties available. Lastly, but certainly not least, we have the Miniatus grouper, Cephopholis miniatus. This marble from the West Pacific and Indian Ocean with a vibrant deep orange body adorned with neon blue spots is a carnivorous giant reaching 14 inches. While they are visually stunning, still be cautious as they're very aggressive and will eat anything that fit in its mouth. These stunning fish truly are the royalty of the aquarium hobby. If you love this regal showcase, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Craving more aquatic beauty? Click the video on the right for a parade of other colorful fish in the hobby. Thanks for tuning in.